Well, that was short-lived. From their launch of the Gazelle Intense debit card on October 24th of last year until now, Ramsey Solutions officially made it less than four months in banking before announcing today that they're sunsetting the highly anticipated debit card. I was personally really excited about this debit card. It was supposed to be a debit card that encouraged and supported people's journey towards debt freedom by keeping their spending to the money that they had instead of what they didn't. I got to participate in beta testing of Gazelle and provide feedback directly to the team. And there were definitely some quirks that needed to be worked out. And I felt like there were a number of general things that needed to be updated in terms of how the app looked and how cashback worked. I honestly had high hopes for where this debit card would go and figured any quirks were just the result of a new product that needed to be updated as they got more feedback. I started to wonder what was going on when I got a comment recently on my video about what's in my wallet, asking me what I was planning to carry now that the Gazelle debit card was getting shut down. I was pretty confused because I hadn't heard anything about it, nothing on the website or anything, only some speculation on Reddit and a change in the app that only allowed you to withdraw funds. But when I followed up with the Gazelle team, they said that there were a number of changes coming to the Gazelle account, and that was pretty much all that they could say at the moment. Then I got a question about how to sign up for the account because you can't within the app. Hmm. Fast forward to today, and I, along with every other Gazelle customer, get this email. Sometimes when you set big goals, they don't always work out the way that you hoped they would. With Gazelle, our goal was to offer you another opportunity to spend and save the Ramsey way. We knew stepping into a new new venture would be a challenge, and it was a challenge we wanted to take on. But things didn't go according to plan. Since its launch, Gazelle has encountered challenges that have limited our ability to serve you well and we currently cannot give you the world-class experience we believe you deserve. So we've made the difficult decision to sunset the Gazelle app. We're currently working with our banking partner to determine an end date. Until then, you can rest assured your money is safe. One, if you have money in your Gazelle account, go ahead and move it out. Two, if you've set up direct deposit, work with your employer or payroll provider to make sure your future direct deposit funds go to your primary bank account. Three, if you've set up any automatic payments, make sure you update them to a new payment method. So to clarify, if you have a Gazelle account, your money is safe according to their email. Plus your money is FDIC insured, so there's no concern there. But you do need to move money out of the account and change automatic payments and direct deposit to a different account. Now just an FYI, when I tried to move money out, it did give me a transfer error and then recommended I remove my linked account and add it again. So that's what I did and it worked fine. But at least within my account, I was only able to transfer out $500 today, but I should be able to transfer another 500 tomorrow just based on transfer limits that a lot of banks have. If you have any questions, I would go to the email that they sent and look at the options that you have for transferring money out. Now, apart from this, it does make me wonder, what was the straw that broke the camel's back when it came to the Gazelle Intense card? Was it that creating a full service checking account proved to be more difficult and much more expensive than originally anticipated? Was it the press and rather low reviews on the app store? No idea. This is pure speculation at this point. I personally think it probably has to do with cash flow behind the app. It was a free account with no promotion of other products outside of Gazelle. So while other banks like Discover can garner credit card users through their checking and savings accounts and no doubt earn more profit from interest on credit card balances. Gazelle has none of that and I assume it would be incredibly expensive to sustain that model, even with the interchange fees garnered by each swipe of the card. And so our debit card cemetery is expanding with Gazelle. In addition to the point card, the cheese card, and the dough card. A debit card I didn't even get to review before I got an email saying that they were closing down US operations. Unfortunately, I have no doubt this cemetery will continue to expand. So if you're now looking for a new account. Subscribe for more debit card reviews. You can check the description for my favorite debit cards. You can watch this playlist of my debit card reviews. Or if you're just interested in learning why there are so many debit cards that have started up and shut down, check out this video next.